In the beginning, there was only the sky above, water, and marshland below. The chief of all divinities, Olodumare, who is considered the supreme deity in Yoruba mythology, created the universe. Olodumare is omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient, embodying all that exists and all that is yet to come. Olodumare then sent Obatala from the heavens with a snail shell filled with sand, a white hen, and a palm nut. Obatala spread the sand over the water and dropped the hen, which began to scratch and scatter the sand, creating dry land. The first land that appeared became the city of Il Ife, the cradle of Yoruba civilization. The palm nut grew into a tree with 16 limbs, symbolizing the 16 original divinities that Olodumare created. Among these divinities we find Ogun, the god of iron, war, and labor. Ogun is a complex deity with a fiery temper and a strong sense of justice. He is the patron of blacksmiths, warriors, and all who work with iron. His importance cannot be understated as he is believed to have introduced technology to the world. Then there's Yemoja, the mother of all living things and the owner of all waters. She is a symbol of motherhood, fertility, and creation. Her waters are considered to be the nurturing force that brings life and sustains it. There's also Shango, the god of thunder, lightning, and fire, known for his courage and powerful voice. He is represented by the color red, and his symbols are the double-headed axe and the thunderbolt. Eshu, the trickster god, is another significant Orisha. He's the messenger of the gods and the guardian of crossroads, symbolizing the balance between good and evil, right and wrong. And of course, there's Oshun, the goddess of love, beauty and wealth, who is widely loved for her benevolence and generosity. She is also the protector of the poor and the mother of all orphans. These stories have been passed down through generations, and the Orishas continue to be worshipped today, not just in Nigeria, but around the world, especially in the Americas, as a part of the African diaspora. The Yoruba Orishas are a testament to the richness of African mythology, showcasing a pantheon of gods with human-like attributes, each representing different aspects of life and nature. Their narratives not only form an integral part of Yoruba cultural identity, but also contribute significantly to our understanding of the human condition. As we bid goodbye to the Yoruba Orishas today, remember that these are just a handful of the many gods and goddesses in Yoruba mythology. Each Orisha has a wealth of stories and traditions associated with them, waiting to be explored. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of the Yoruba Orishas. If you've enjoyed this video, show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Share the video with friends who might enjoy these stories, and don't forget to subscribe to Stories by John for more fascinating tales from the world of mythology.